Hello St. Mark's. I'm here in the front lawn outside of the building because I'm so happy to announce that we're starting our worship on the lawn this July 5th at 6 p.m. I know that some of us are a little sad that we can no longer meet inside the building. That could change if the numbers go down, but I'm excited that we can sing, we can worship, we can gather together here outside on the lawn. And this is just a little informational video to give you a picture of what's it's got, what it's gonna look like. So um, it starts at 6 p.m. and we ask that you get here no later than a quarter to six because people are gonna need to be able to get out of their cars and walk to their designated areas. We're still gonna be doing social distancing and we're going to have the lawn uh, laid out in a grid. Uh, we're gonna have chalk lines and we're gonna have uh, places for those who are ambulatorily challenged to sit and uh, also for those who don't wanna get out of their car. If you don't wanna get out of the car because you don't wanna walk or you don't wanna be out in, in the sun, um, we'll have some parking spaces for you as well. So uh, we want you to bring your chairs. We need you to bring your beach chairs. And also, like uh, uh, Jeremiah over here, we want you to bring your uh, umbrellas because for about 20 minutes in the evening from 6 to about 6.20, the sun is still gonna be over our shoulder to our right here. But about after 6.20, it goes low enough so that it'll be cooler and if you bring your little umbrellas and just hold them for about 20 minutes at the beginning of the service, after the sun goes down, we'll be just fine. We were out here last night, the breeze is blowing really nicely, and so it's gonna be great for us to be able to just have those little umbrellas. And uh, we're not gonna be putting up any um, big tents or anything like that. This is just our first try at this, and so we're gonna go simple, and hopefully it'll be good for all of us. And as you see, Jeremiah is sitting in a, in a designated spot. The cones are a 10 by 10 uh, area. And uh, there'll be, like I said, chalk lines uh, laying out the sections that we're gonna be able to sit in. And basically, you guys are gonna be sitting at this angle here, facing uh, uh, west, southwest. Not directly west, but west, southwest. And where I'm standing here is going to be the stage. And we're going to be singing, and I'm going to be talking in this direction. Over here, we're going to have the designated parking for those who have uh, uh, walkers or have problems walking and walking on the grass. These first seven or ten parking spots will be for them. And then we'll have people with walkers or who are in wheelchairs come up the sidewalk. And we'll have a section over here right next to the sidewalk where you can sit. We will provide some extra seating for some folks who might not be able to bring their own beach chairs, but those are gonna be limited, so um, just uh, take note of that. Over here in the grassy parking here, those of you who do not wanna get out of your car, uh, there, there'll be this area over here where if you, in your car, you park due north and just roll down your windows, you should be able to hear the service just fine. So a couple of safety guidelines. We do want you to wear your masks until you get to your seating position where you're gonna sit. Once you sit down in your seating area, you can take off your mask. And you can leave your mask off unless you are one of those people who just loves to sing really loud with lots of gusto. If you do wanna sing loud with lots of gusto, I do uh, ask you to put your mask back on just while you're singing loud. Okay, but singing and speaking at a regular tone and a regular level is acceptable outside without your masks right now, which is really great because a lot of people, when they have the masks on, it bothers them when they are worshiping or singing. And um, like I said, bring your uh, beach chair, bring your umbrella, wear your mask until you're seated. Um, we'll have a parking attendance showing you where to park. If you need to park in the handicap areas here, uh, or if you uh, don't need any assistance, we're gonna have you be parking towards the back of the building. Um, and then um, for now, we won't have any communion. We're just kind of feeling out this worship service. 
The offering box will be over by the front door of the office building over here. The, the, the glass door that is usually facing east. And that will also be the entrance for anyone who has to use the restroom. But the restrooms will be monitored in, 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 in a sense that it will be, you know, uh, someone will uh, limit how many people could go in at the same time. But that should be easy since the service is not going to take very long. You're welcome to bring food for your group and for your people or for yourself. You're welcome to bring drinks. You're welcome to bring a cooler, a picnic, as long as you and your group stay in your seated area and you uh, don't make a mess and you pick up after yourself and you don't share. You can't share any food or anything like that between groups, okay? So if you come with your family, uh, you come with your friends in the same car, you want to sit in the same designated space, you can share amongst yourselves. You cannot share with other people, but um, you know, it's going to be outside, so people are going to need to bring something to drink. And so we do encourage you to bring some water with you, and um, that will be uh, something that we can't provide for everyone, but we hope that you bring something, but just only for yourself. Lastly, the worship service will be on our website. And so if you go to our website, you will be able to find the worship uh, flow, the order of worship there, including the lyrics to the songs that we're going to be singing and the scripture readings and the responsive readings that we have. That's all going to be provided for you on the website under the tab worship services. And then uh, we're going to have a new um, button after that, which is going to be um, worship on the lawn. So hopefully in the near future, when the numbers go down, we'll be able to get back to doing communion service inside the building. But for now, with the numbers still arising, uh, any groupings or any gatherings indoor, uh, it raises the risk of transmission of the, of the, the, the virus. And so uh, we're still going to have the uh, beach service out on the beach at 7.30 a.m. We're still going to provide the online worship service that will be available on YouTube and on the website at 9 a.m. But it'll go live on Facebook at 11. And then now we have worship on the lawn at 6 p.m. I am so excited for us to get together out on the lawn. It's something I've always wanted to do. And this is a great time to start. What a better day to start worshiping together out on the lawn than on 4th of July weekend. And just I pray that you have a safe 4th of July, that you all stay safe, be careful, and keep each other in prayer. And so I love you guys, and I'm excited about what God is doing in our community. We'll see you on Sunday at 7.30 or at the 9.11 online or at 6 p.m here out on the lawn and of course you can give online you can mail us a check and still on monday mornings between 10 and 12 you can bring your offering and uh, we will collect it on monday mornings but of course we'll have the box here at the worship service at 6 p.m for you to to drop it off as well god bless you have a safe fourth of july we'll see you then hey since we're inside i'm wearing my mask i did forget to say one thing that on Sunday at three o'clock, if there's inclement weather and the weather's gonna be bad, we're gonna send out an email confirmation saying yes or no that we're having the service at six o'clock. If the weather is bad and it looks like it's gonna rain, we'll probably have to cancel, but make sure you check the email at three o'clock. Also, along with this video, there's gonna be a poll asking you if yes or no, if you're interested in coming to the six o'clock worship service. God bless you and see you on Sunday.